What you eating there, little pig? Hey, Crunch. Oh. Some pretty ones. My favorite food. What about all that grass? That's my next favorite food. You mean you don't get anything other than acorns and grass to eat? Yep. That's what I want. <laughs> a little acorns and a little grass, huh? We should eat that dove weed. Take a look and see if we can get your acorns. In there. Yeah. These are the branches that are growing over the house. I cut these off every year about this time out of these oak trees, big red oaks that we've got here. And you can see that it does, <laughs> they're pretty doggone virile growing in my gutters every year it grows back over to the top of the house so I keep it pruned back or try to and uh, we've got many of these and then if you'd like I'll take you over to the oak tree nursery and we can look at our little baby oaks that we have coming up and we'll continue to plant throughout the place well we're on approach to uh, a little nursery here. These are pin oaks that I uh, collected the acorns out in uh, Lake Palestine. Uh, a couple of oak trees that were growing on the side of the, well, out on the sidewalk old high school down there. Brought them back and had Elizabeth lay them out here and had a very strong germination rate. And we'll dig these up this winter and uh, plant them out in the pastures. And the idea being is that they will grow up and give us uh, food for the pigs, for the cows, for the ducks, which uh, frequent that out there. Maybe you can see the cows out there in the far south pasture now. And then they've got this over here on the uh, east side, all of that forest that they cruise through. And I think that's part of what makes our beef and pork naturally tasty, naturally flavorful. Well, let's see here, what else I want to show you? I guess we go look at some more of those pigs. Coming back through the orchard, uh, you can see our persimmons over there, and figs and peaches, they're all played out now. October and uh, grass as thick as can be and uh, we have the pigs they come in here we rotate them this particular hog is a very wonderful hog and that it just absolutely loves grass now we've raised red wattles great blacks uh, Poland chinas and we've not had anything to compare with these as far as what we like and that's a grass based uh, beef and pork we always had to supplemental feed the other pigs but not this breed they just simply eat this grass as their main diet and they're uh, they're a lard hog that is to say they have a lot of fat and it comes by eating the grass That's something. Well, let's go see if we can see if anybody else will talk to us. She's got a bunch of babies in here. Maybe they'll come running out. We uh, rotate the pastures with this very easy to move. Hog netting is uh, good for 
containment as well as for keeping unwanted predators at bay. We're in the paddock now. Over in the north field we can see our sheep. Again grazing on grass and there's buttermilk in there. Nancy's cart pony. And she's a good little uh, cow pony too. She's a Palomino Welsh pony. And over there's a cup of column. These are bees uh, in the Herefords and Red Angus cows in there are mid-sized mid frame and miniatures, as well as uh, the dairy cows. They all run together. And here's our pigs in the paddock here, eating grass. And uh, there's the mama over there. She had the first litter with all that milk she's got. Piggy, 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 piggy. That looks like a bunch of little legs underneath this one, but no, it's not. It's just her belly dragging the ground. And there's our Muscovy ducks. Boy, you talking about a good tasting duck that is not fat, but all meat. That's our Muscovy duck crop. And this is probably uh, a fifth of them. We've got about a hundred on the place. Let's we go see if we can find us. Oh, there they are, right there in their nest. Little, uh, size 8 shoe is what they are. Hey, are y'all going to get up this morning? Hmm? You going to get up? You're worse than my grandchildren, just laying around all morning long. Well, they shoot around this place. One of the things I like about these little things, uh, be they uh, mama or boar, is they don't run off. And they don't tear things up. In fact, the ducks are a bigger nuisance, nuisance than the, the hogs are. No, oh, you're going to talk for a little while now, huh? And they're friendly as they can be. Whoops. Whoopsie, come on. Foster Farm.